Chula Vista's mayor spoke with our Alicia Summers to give us an update on the South Bay City, as well as an update on City Council Member Steve Padilla, who is being treated for COVID-19. She joins us live from Chula Vista with more. Alicia. Yeah, Mayor Salas tells me that she is really proud of this community facing up to this crisis and the best of humanity is really shining through right now. We have shown the best of our community and of humanity. Chula Vista's Mayor Mary Salas is staying positive as she follows all directives issued by the federal government, the state and the county. She knows the coronavirus pandemic is hitting the economy hard and the pain will last a long time. Well, I think all our communities are going to feel this impact well into the future because as business stalls, as the sales don't continue, as people don't eat in restaurants and um, patronize businesses, um, that leads to a decrease in sales tax revenues. And so it's going to hit not only the city of Chula Vista, but all cities really hard. To ease the pain, Chula Vista, like many cities, are doing small things to help not collecting parking um, fees and those kinds of things. So we're trying to make it as helpful as we can to our residents. Also, like many other places, an ordinance was passed in order to put a moratorium on evictions or foreclosures that are caused by the outbreak. And city employees are able to take a two-week advancement on vacation or sick leave. This is Chula Vista City Councilman Steve Padilla is being treated at UCSD Thornton Hospital ICU for the coronavirus. Steve had gone into the hospital. Um, he had been released. He was staying at home. And then he took a turn for the worst at home. Um, his fever came back. Uh, his daughter insisted that he return to the hospital. And um, he was admitted, I believe it was on Sunday night. We thought he was making progress and we hope that he recovers. The councilman's daughter, Ashley Padilla, sent us a message from her father. Everyone needs to take COVID-19 seriously. Please follow the advice of our public health professionals to reduce spread of the virus and take precautions to keep your families and our community safe. The mayor also adds one good thing this pandemic has done is brought communities together and has really brought out the best in so many people. Back to you.